Hello, welcome to a Mac OS X 10.7 Lion tutorial. This tutorial is for people who don't know how to use their new Mac, and for people that just upgraded to Lion, which can be downloaded for $29.99 in the Mac App Store. This is a tutorial only for the basics, and it'll help you find your way around your new Mac and its system. Let's start off with the dock. The dock can be located in the bottom of your screen and it's basically a tool that will create shortcuts of some of your files, applications, and folders. You can rearrange the items on your dock the way you want to, by just dragging any item you want to the sides. Or you can remove them by just dragging them out of the dock. Note that this will not erase the item, it will just remove its shortcut from your dock. You can also add something to your dock, let's say Final Cut Pro application. The dock will automatically open a space for it in order for the application to fit. You will notice that there are folders on the right side of my dock. If I click one of them, it'll open automatically and show a list of every file located in it. Folders can be listed as grids or fans. If all the files in the folder aren't listed, you'll see an icon that says Open in Finder, which will open a new Finder window with a list of all the files in it. You can also place the dock on the right or left of your screen in System Preferences. Now, let's talk about the Finder. You can drag files to the desktop as well, let's say a music file, like the one we have over here. If you right click or control click this file, you will see an option between many that says, Quick Look. If you click it, it will automatically show the file, in this case play the sound without launching any program. This is great when you need to look quickly at a file without waiting. It also works with movies, photos, and even pages documents and keynote presentations. You can also do this if you open a new finder window. Another great feature of Finder is the Finder Bar. The Finder Bar is at the top of the screen, and is divided in two sections. At the left we have all the menus that change and adapt for each application. The two menus that will always appear in every application are the Apple menu, which can do things from showing you info on your Mac to shutting down or logging out of your user. Then we have the menu that will show the name of the application you're currently on, Let's say text edit, and this menu has the preferences and the info for that application. You will also see some menus like file, edit, etc. The second section is located at the right, and it shows shortcuts for some options, per se, Wi-Fi connection or volume. These shortcuts can be toggled in system preferences. It will also show some statuses like the time or your battery power. In the top right corner, you can see an icon shaped like a magnifying glass, and it's called Spotlight. If you click it, you'll see a text field, for searching for a file in your computer. If you type something, let's say, iMac, it'll show all the files, songs, documents, web pages, and even dictionary definitions with the word iMac stored in your computer. You can even type in an equation, and Spotlight will automatically solve it for you. Now, let's talk about the keyboard in your Mac and what you can do with it. At the top, you'll find controls, like Escape, Brightness Up and Down, Expose, Dashboard, Keyboard Backlight Controls, Play, Rewind, and Forward, Volume Controls, and Eject Key for ejecting disks and hard drives.
Now, I'll tell you about what you can do with your magic mouse or your trackpad. The trackpad in the Mac is the most complete and easy to use control for a computer. It's big and comfortable, and what you can do with it are many things with multi-touch gestures, including scrolling up and down, swipe through pages, pinch to zoom, and right-clicking, which can be done by control-clicking, tapping the right corner of your trackpad, or clicking with two fingers. A great feature of Mac OS X Lion is Launchpad. Launchpad is a tool that can be activated with a multi-touch gesture with four or five fingers, or simply just clicking the Launchpad icon on your dock. It's like an iOS home screen on your iPhone or iPad, and it looks for all the applications in your hard drive and lists them. You can click them just ilk on your iPhone to launch them. And even create folders by just dragging an icon onto another and naming it. Another amazing feature that's packed in Lion is the brand new Exposé. Exposé is a tool that can be activated by sliding three fingers down on your trackpad. It organizes all your open windows and desktops. You'll see in a moment what I mean by desktops so that you can switch between them. You can create new desktops on the top right corner to organize your windows on each desktop and drag windows into it. When you're done, you can click the window or desktop you want to work in. You can also make an app full screen and use it as a whole desktop. To scroll between desktops, you can simply slide three fingers left or right. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it helped you. Enjoy your new Mac. You can request new tutorials by commenting on this video. Visit my channel for more. Please rate. Comment and subscribe.